He's on fire! You ready? I need to graph given what? Given a point and a slope. Wow! My first example. They give me a y-intercept and a slope. This is just how you do the cheap and easy magic way of graphing the point-slope form. So, it tells you where to start and it tells you where to go. So, you start there. Where? At 0, minus 2. At 0, minus 2. Right there. And then you perform the slope. You go up 3 over 4, because it's rise over run. So then you go up 1, 2, 3, over 1, 2, 3, 4. You put a dot, you connect the dots, and you're done! That was easy. Replay. Go there, do that. But what if they don't give me a y-intercept? Well, over here I have an example where they don't give you a y-intercept. They give you a point and a slope. So you go to the point and you perform that slope. It's the same thing. Yes, this is over 2, down 1. I go there, then I perform that slope. But I know how to perform the slope when it's a fraction. Well, how do you write minus 3 as a fraction? Well, here's that action. Yes, that's minus 3 over 1. It's the same as minus 3, so it's still the rise and the run. But wait, this one falls. Uh-huh, it goes down 3, right 1. Always go right. This one goes up or down. So then you go down 1, 2, 3, right 1. From that point, they're not both negative. Just one's negative. This one's down, over, Alright, that's enough of that, and that's enough of this video. Thank you.